Hey friends, how are you? This is Dr. Shinagi, Ayurvedan medicine doctor and also Isha Hatha Yoga teacher. So today in this video, I am going to talk about irritable bowel syndrome and why it is very important to treat this irritable bowel syndrome. I know for many people, this irritable bowel syndrome is a very small thing because in day-to-day -day life, it is not creating major difference. Like little bit stomach is upset, but it's okay. Little bit discomfort is, but it is okay. Little bit bloating is, but it is okay. Little bit irritation is, but it is okay. So this our concept of it is okay with little bit irritation, little bit problem regarding irritable bowel syndrome is not okay. Actually, it's been seen that mostly whenever we have irritable bowel syndrome, it is connected with large intestine, the functioning of large intestine. So when I'm saying irritable bowel syndrome, that means your bowels will be irritated for no reasons. Why it's happening, we don't know. Irritable bowel syndrome means it is just some kind of irritation in your bowels and you are not aware of the reasons why it is happening. So it is very important like whenever one person is suffering with irritable bowel syndrome, we should know the reason. And sometimes also this happens like you have taken a lot of medicines, but still it is not getting cured because the reason of irritable bowel syndrome has not been found. The root cause we have not removed. So let's understand what are the root causes and why it's important to remove it. Actually, irritable bowel syndrome means your food is not digested properly. And if food will not get digested, according to Ayurveda, if it stays like this, undigested food get converted into ama. Ama is another name for toxins. And these toxins eventually go to various places of the body and they are causing hypertension, they are causing diabetes, uric acid problems, they are causing gout problems, they are causing joint pains all everything in the body that is happening because of toxins and this toxin is nothing according to ayurveda it is just the undigested food so first let's understand the causes of irritable bowel syndrome and how to remove them so first and very foremost cause these days in almost every human that is stress anxiety tension uh, these days, not, not even Ayurveda, if you go with the latest studies, they are also talking about brain-gut connection. That is uh, like what we think, how we think, how we are, how we take, uh, take things, how we take life. All this is going to impact on our digestive system. As sometimes it happens like our mood is not good. So some irritation is there and we don't feel hungry. So this is not because your body doesn't want food. It is happening because your, there is some agitation in the mind. For these agitations in your mind, we have solution with yoga, meditation, uh, spiritual literature, knowing yourself more. These kind of things help a lot to solve these problems. I am not saying if you do these things, uh, forever your agitation will go. Uh, it will just vanish after reading. No, uh, you need to work on it. And eventually, day by day, slowly, slowly, it will start coming down. It will start becoming less. And one day, maybe it will vanish from your life. And eventually, it is going to impact on your digestion, on your irritable bowel syndrome. So this is the first thing that you need to do. Another thing is you need to remove all the hot potency things from your diet, like excessive use of spices. Excessive use of spices also cause irritable bowel syndromes very spicy food like which contains a lot of chili a lot of like indian tongues nose like how very chili spicy food this kind of food is also very hot in potency and it is also responsible for irritable bowel syndrome in some cases sometimes garlic garlic excess use of garlic if somebody is using that also causes acidity and ultimately landed into irritable bowel syndrome so try to have that kind of food which is not acidic in nature try to have that food which is alkaline in nature so which food is alkaline how to recognize it regarding that i already have created many videos you please go through my channel and check these videos what is alkaline food what is acidic food that will help you so that you will choose your food in a better way like all the seasonal fruits all the seasonal things that comes under alkaline food uh, all the alcohol hard drinks 
soft drinks, um, drinks that contains chemicals. This everything comes under acidic food, especially uh, various kind of these drinks which are available these days. Uh, these all comes under acidic. Uh, food. So, try to have coconut water that is alkaline, that is not acidic. So, these kind of choices you need to make. Choose for alkaline food if you have IBS. This will help you in a big way and try to convert your food into 50% raw, 50% cooked. Try to have freshly cooked food so that your health will become better, better and better and you will come over this IBS. So that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and if you're watching me for the first time, there's a bell icon, there's a subscription button, please click the bell icon, hit the subscription button so that you stay in tune with our upcoming videos. Also, if you would like to support us, there is a join button near subscription button. You can click this join button and you can support us. Also, those of you who want Ayurveda consultations, please write to me on the given email ID and I will let you know how we can schedule it. If you have any questions, please write down those questions in the comment section and I will try to answer your questions in the best possible way. So with this note, I would like to say stay healthy, stay blessed, take care, bye.